Hey everyone, it's Tony Sauce. Thanks for checking out the video. So I had some newer players ask me about synergies, what they are and how to get them activated. So I'm just gonna do a quick video on how to get the synergies activated, as well as some of the better synergies that you should grind for. I'm also gonna be showing you guys some tips and tricks on how to actually get those activated. So synergies are basically boosts to your players. So each player has individual synergies that they can activate. So let's take this McDavid card for example, right? So he has sniper forward synergy and playmaking forward synergy. He also has shooting boost, playmaking boost, and checking boost. So if you look at sniper forward, it says plus one hand eye, plus two slap shot accuracy, plus one slap shot power, plus two wrist shot accuracy. Um, so if you click on that, it'll show you the boost. So his wrist shot accuracy goes from a 93 up to a 95. You see how it says nine out of six points and then it says active? That means you have to have at least six points of the synergy. So this McDavid card gives you one point towards the synergy, all right? This Gretzky card, you, he also has it, so that's one point towards the synergy. Same with this McKinnon card over here. Uh, Cellini has it. Uh, who else has it? Jordan Eberle. All the players on my third line have it. So you basically need six players with the sniper forward synergy to get that activated now what's different with the team of the year cards is that their synergies count for three points they're the only cards that count for more than one point of synergy so if we take a look at my active synergies you'll see that i have all these synergies activated right but if you will you'll also see that there's these synergies that i don't have activated so like there's offensive defenseman that gives you plus one slap shot accuracy plus two slap shot power plus one on wrist shot accuracy but i don't have that activated it says two out of three points that means that these players like or and thompson they're not getting that boost because i need one more player with offensive defenseman synergy now if i go to my defense right and i take kale mccarr you can swap his synergies so i'll come here and i'll swap that to offensive defenseman now it says three out of three points for offensive defenseman synergy so now that synergy is going to be activated on those three players that have the offensive defenseman synergy now keep in mind once the synergy is activated it's activated me clicking on these to turn them off doesn't actually turn off the synergy and the bonuses on this Kale McCarr card. It's just to help you compare the stats to see what he's like without the synergy and what he's like with the synergy bonuses. So like I just turned them off right here, but that's just to show a comparison. So he has 89 wrist shot accuracy without the synergies, but when they're on, he gets a plus three boost to wrist shot accuracy. But like I said, you know, clicking on these doesn't turn them off. It's just for comparison purposes. These synergies are still active on this card. As long as it says active in the right corner, see how it says offensive defenseman, three out of three active. As long as it says active, it's active on those players. They're getting those bonuses. However, I do like two-way defenseman more, so I'm gonna put it back on two-way defenseman. And that means that I'm, only, I'm still only gonna have two points for offensive defenseman. It's the same with enforcer forward. So I only have three out of six points for enforcer forward. If I got three more players in my lineup that have the enforcer forward synergy, I would get that plus two speed, plus two slap shot power, and all of those bonuses that come with enforcer forward and it would be active on those players that have that synergy it's not going to give you plus two speed to your entire lineup just to those players that have enforcer forward synergy so right here you, i have matthew kachuk team of the year he has three synergy points for enforcer forward so if i just get three more players with enforcer forward synergy it's going to activate the the synergy you know there's also playmaking forward i have two out of six points so only two players have playmaking forward synergy i would need four more players with playmaking forward synergy and then you know only one with power forward one with two-way forward and one with playmaking boost so none of these are activated because i don't have enough players to activate the synergy but all of these i do so i have eight out of eight players that have defensive boosts boost synergy so this one's active i have speed boost so that's basically how you get them activated you just need enough players to cover the points now something you can do to get some synergies activated like let's say you have i only let's say i only had like five players with defensive boost and i would need three more players to get the eight out of eight points for the for the synergy to get activated you can get a head coach with that synergy that will count as a point and then your goalies don't sleep on your goalies okay roberto luongo gives one defensive boost and then you also have your backup goalie so i searched up in the auction house 
I filtered it by defensive boost synergies and I picked up this goalie for like 1.2K so that I could activate the synergy. Now the defensive boost, it doesn't like do anything on these players because they're goalies. They're just meant to help you fill out the synergies for your other players that have defensive boost. So like Barkov has defensive boost, Gretzky has defensive boost, same with Sakic. So all of those players now have defensive boost active because it's being helped out by the coach as well as the two goalies. Now something else you can do to help you fill out these synergies that you want is pick up some silver players for your fourth line. Now silver players all have two synergies. So if you get some crappy silver players for like 300 coins that have like the perfect combo of synergies, that can help you get those synergies activated. So if you're struggling to fill out some synergies, some things that you can do is creating like a synergy line. Now, right now I have these Hutverse players in my lineup because I'm doing those Hutverse objectives for power-up collectibles, but typically my fourth line is an enforcer forward synergy line. So right here, I have Matthew Kachuk, right? He has a low speed, but he has three points towards enforcer forward synergy. So if I get three more points to get this synergy activated, he'll get plus two speed. So what I'll do is I'll put three enforcer forwards on my fourth line. Like my fourth line, I don't use them too much. So I'm just gonna make it an enforcer forward synergy line. So I put Lucci on, he has enforcer forward synergy. Let's swap out Weber. Put in Bob Probert, he has Enforcer Forward Synergy. Now, as you can see, if we go to Enforcer Forward Synergy, now it says I have five out of six points. So if I get one more point with the Enforcer Forward Synergy, it becomes active on all of these players. So we'll swap out Carlson and we'll put in Ross Johnson. He, now he's only a 77 overall, which is really rough but he does have Enforcer Forward Synergy. Now, as you can see, he was the final player to get that activated. We now have six out of six points activated, so all of these players now have that plus two speed. But the only like player that I'm worried about is Matthew Kachuk. Like, I'm not really gonna be putting my fourth line out there a lot. They're just there to help me get this synergy to boost Kachuk. So I'm basically using my fourth line as like a boost for Kachuk. I hope that makes a lot of sense. Now, in terms of the synergies that you should activate, I'm gonna move my camera over to this side so that we can see the, uh, the actual bonuses that you get. Now, Sniper Forward is a great synergy to activate. You can see that right there. It gives you a lot of good stuff for your shot. And a lot of players that have Sniper Forward also have Shooting Boost, which gives you even more bonuses towards your shot. So combo the, comboing these together is really good. Um, I think two-way defenseman is much better than offensive defensemen because with two-way defensemen, you get plus two wrist shot accuracy, plus three D awareness, plus three stick checking, which is huge compared to offensive defensemen. Um, only gives you like plus one wrist shot accuracy and no bonuses towards stick checking. Now, speed boost is also really good, giving you plus two speed and plus two balance as well as plus two deking. But this is one of the harder ones to get activated. I only have this activated because I have the two team of the year cards that give plus three points each. So, you know, before the team of the year cards, I didn't even have this activated. I wasn't even close to getting this activated. I also think defensive boost is really good, especially for centers because it gives you that plus four face-offs. It also gives you plus two agility excuse me, and plus four stick checking, which is really good. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. I really hope this helped you out, especially if you're a newer player and you were kind of confused about how the whole synergy system works. Definitely take a look into uh, some of the synergies and see which ones would fit your team and your play style the best. That's what I think it's all about, is activating the synergies that help fit your play style the best. Once again, it's Tony Sauce. Make sure to like, comment if you have any questions. I respond to every single one of my comments. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitch. I got the link down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.